everybody, I hope that you're doing well and welcome back to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and these are Thelma and Luis. Today we talk about the Peperomia albovitata or Rana Verde. Okay, coming up! Whether you're coming back or this is your first time in this channel, thank you so much for being with me and watching this video. I am a plant beginner and I learn about my houseplants every day. So this channel is to share with you what I learned. So if you want to learn how to take care of your houseplants, how to display them or even how to connect with them, make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and talk about plants. But now, let's get to the video. So, as I said before, the Peperomia bobitata is also known as the Rana Verde. Rana Verde in Spanish and Italian means green frog. And I'm guessing that's why this plant has that common nickname, because her leaves actually look like green frogs. This plant comes from South America, specifically Peru and Ecuador. So, it's a tropical plant. It is super cute and a very small plant. Also, I found that it is very easy to grow. So, let's see how you can keep this beautiful plant very happy at your house. In terms of temperature, because this plant is from the tropics, you want to stay in the warmer side of the spectrum. So try to keep her in a room that is at least 18 degrees Celsius. They do like humidity, but I have found that this plant is okay with medium to normal humidity levels. If you do find that the air in your home is really dry for her, you can put her on a humidity tray or mix her leaves. When talking about light, this plants like bright indirect sunlight or medium light. So this means some kind of filtered sunlight. Avoid direct sunlight because this will burn the leaves. I actually have my plants in a room that has a south facing window, so it's a very bright room, but they're not very close to the window, so they don't get direct sunlight and they seem to be thriving. But I think you can easily grow this plant in lower light conditions, as long as they get some amount of sunlight. When we talk about water, these plants don't need so much water. If you observe the leaves of your peperomia, you will see that these leaves are very thick. So this peperomia is closer to the succulent side of the spectrum and they retain lots of water in their leaves. So you shouldn't water them too much or too often. I usually water my peperomias every two weeks during the growing season and they seem to be doing fine. The way that I check if my peperomias need water is with my finger. I put my finger inside the soil until the second knuckle or until the end and I try to feel if the soil is dry. If it is dry, then I water. So make sure to let the soil dry in between waterings. And the method that I use to water this plant is the bottom watering method. I love this method because it really helps me get the water into the roots from below and then when I'm done, I let the water drain out. This is perfect for the peperomia because I make sure that the soil is moist but not super wet. Oh, and one thing to remember, in the winter you will notice that when you check the soil, it will actually take longer for the soil to dry out. So, cut back on water. During the growing season, I actually fertilize my rana verde pretty much every time we water them. This is because we usually water them every two weeks and they seem to be doing fine with that. Another reason for this is because we're actually using an organic fertilizer. And organic fertilizers tend to be less concentrated than synthetic fertilizers. But of course, check the directions in the instructions of your fertilizer so you make sure that you don't overfeed your plant. This is the fertilizing that we're currently using here in Berlin. Uh, I really love it because it's a vegan fertilizer and it's organic, so it really helps me prevent overfeeding my plants. And I'm pretty much using it with every tropical plant in the house. So if you are interested, I'm gonna make sure to put a link down in the description below so you can find it. In terms of potting mix, you can use an all-purpose houseplant potting mix for your plant. Remember, drainage is very important with this plant. So make sure that you have perlite in the potting mix. If you want to make your own potting mix at home, I recommend that you put two parts of perlite or pumice for drainage, two parts of worm castings, and seven parts of coconut coir. Another way that you can increase drainage is to add some rocks at the bottom of the pot, 
and of course to get a pot that has drainage holes. This will help you to prevent overwatering. Okay my dear friends, these are some of the tips that I can give you about this beautiful plant. Do you have a Rana Verde at home? How do you take care of it? Make sure to comment below so we can all learn together. Of course, if you would like to be part of this community, you're always welcome. So make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and talk about plants. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao! <laughs>